Double, double, boil and travel, cauldron burn and books bubble. Happy Halloween everybody and welcome to another video. So normally I'd have my wrap up and TBR video up today, but today is a very special day and one that's very close to my heart. Not only is it Halloween or Samhain, depending if you practice paganism or if you're a wicker, but today is the uh, final book release of one of the books I published in a trilogy. And to celebrate, I wanted to talk about my favorite trilogies and I've picked out an absolute crap ton of trilogies here, which we can go through together. But I do want to give a really, really special mention to the Blood Books series. It consists of Blood Rose, Blood Magic, and Blood Promise, which is out today. This is a trilogy. It's a new adult paranormal romance following a witch called Ava and her coven going against a war with an immortal vampire race. And there's elemental control in this. There's magic, there's romance, there's action. This is a very, very fast paced trilogy set over the course of only a few days. So it is extremely well paced. And it does follow Ava and her transition from a witch into something different in her power and her being the only one in this coven with this power and what that means for, for her and everything she's ever known basically is unraveled and might not be true. So you should definitely check this out. It is basically if the witches from Charmed and the vampires from Vampire Academy went against each other, this would be the series for you. I'm gonna leave the links down below for this entire trilogy. If you like the sound of it, do go download today whilst, whilst they are all on sale. So just amazing and the covers are stunning. They're professional art. So this is definitely one of my favorite trilogies especially because I love anything to do with witches. And when I read this, when I was on the plane over from Rome, uh, Greece to Rome, and during my stay in Rome, and I read this trilogy on submission, and I just fell in love with them. I knew then I had to publish them. And Daniel Rose has been an absolute pleasure to work with. So Danielle, if you're watching, I adore you. You're an incredible author. You're amazing. You're talented. You're kind. You're patient. You're everything an author, a person, a human needs to be. And congratulations on having a final series out. It's a really exciting day. So yeah, guys, go and download. They're amazing. Next, I'm going to get this series, which is, these are in no particular order, of course. Um, this is the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green. Sally Green has always been somebody I looked up to, especially on a writing and author level. I think she's an absolutely phenomenal and most poetic writer I've read. I love this series. It is Nathan and Gabriel, and it was the first series I kind of read and realised that there has gay romance in, and it really touched my soul, because as a gay boy, young gay gay boy, reading something like this was so, so important. So, Half Bad by Sally Green, just an incredible series, Witches in a Future London, a future really world, and it's a dystopic story, so just a really fast-paced read. I absolutely adore it, and there's something really special about this trilogy, is it's published in a lot of different languages, so that means you guys watching, wherever you're from, might be able to read this as well. I love Sally Green's writing, and I cannot wait for her next series to come out. Really cannot wait. So Sally, if you're watching this, I hope writing and editing is coming on well, and I adore you as well, and can't wait for your next series. I'm always open if you want to send an arc, you know, I'm always here. Next is somebody who I really adore and I've adored from afar and recently I've been talking to her on Instagram and she's just a really, really nice person and her Instagram stories are so relaxing and wonderful to watch and really insightful. And that is Sarah Raj and of course I'm going to mention the Snow Like Ashes series. Now this is a series that I didn't need to reread the books. This is a series that's stuck clear in my mind no matter how long time went by. This is a fantasy story where the world is set into different seasons and different kingdoms so to say and the one kingdom is kind of not there anymore and it's up to a girl to bring back this kingdom. I'm really trying not to spoil it. There's magic, there's action, fight scenes, really clever fight scenes. And I know that Sarah really draws on her own experience in fighting, especially she does some sort of um, martial art, which kind of takes part in this, hence the chakra, which I love, hence the circular weapon that I love. So if you haven't read this series, you should. It's Snow Like Ashes, it's Ice Like Fire, and it's Frost Like Night. Really great trilogy, just really detailed and clear and awesome. I love this series. So let me know in the comments below if any of you read this. I would love to know because I love it so much. I can't wait for her next book too. It's like a pirate, so bring it on. Next is a series I haven't talked about for a very, very long time. And that is the Ar Arcadia Awakened series by Kai Meyer. Now, I believe this is originally a German book that was translated over and it's basically the Romeo and Juliet meets shapeshifters. It is literally Romeo and Juliet meets shapeshifters. Now, my, my, my memory is hazy because it has been like three years since I read this series, but I just remember to be so enthralled and interested by this Italian setting and so amazed by these different types of shapeshifters and how each family is like a mafia and the ability to shapeshift I just think is incredible. This is such 
a wonderful series. I absolutely adored this trilogy when I read it. Um, I Even talking about it now is making me have like, this funny butterfly feeling in my stomach that I get when I want to reread something. So maybe I'll reread this if I ever get through any books in my TBR shelves. But yeah, Arcadia Awakens. It consists of Arcadia Awakens, Arcadia Burns and Arcadia Falls. I don't know which order these two go in at the moment. I think it's Arcadia Burns the second and then this one. But amazing. Shapeshifters, Romeo and Juliet retelling but in modern day. Love that. Another trilogy that I absolutely adore is another witch trilogy and this is another translation as well and this is The Circle, The Engelfers Trilogy by Matt Strandsberg and Sarah B. Elfgren and this series is amazing. Massive, massive fan of Sarah and Matt. I just loved this and I after this one, The Key, which is the final book, I just knew I, I need more books in this series, especially how this ended. But yeah, which is very dark, very interestingly written. I just, I've never read anything like this before in my life. Think the craft, but way more dark, lots more teens and a lot more really important issues. So yes, go and check this series out. It's so good. And last but not least, I'm not going to just not mention Lee Balugo. The Grisha trilogy. Oh my God, this series is just wonderful for me. I love this. I was actually talking to Joe Painter today and who sent me like bookmarks and this really awesome book pin. So if you want to go check those out, I'll leave her Etsy link down below. But yeah, the Grisha series is just wonderful. Elemental control set in this Russian inspired world. Really interesting characters, great dialogue, development, characterization, plot, everything in this series for me is perfect. I adore it. I've read it twice. I just love it so much. It's Lee Bardugo's Queen Bardugo. We know this. We know this, guys. It's Queen Bardugo, really. So these are all my favourite trilogies. Don't forget to go and check these all out. And a lot of love for Danielle Rose. Happy release day. Don't forget to go and check this book out. I will leave the links down below for this. Just such an amazing series. It wouldn't be in this video if it wasn't, and I would not be publishing it if it wasn't amazing. It's been getting great reviews. So I hope you guys give it a chance and check it out. If you're on Kindle Unlimited, it's on that. I know you, some of you guys are on Kindle Unlimited. It's on Kindle Unlimited. Go and download today. So there you have it. There are my favourite trilogies. I want to do one about my geologies. I want to do one about four books in the series. So if you want to see any more, then definitely give this a thumbs up and comment down below. And apart from that, I'll see you all again for another video very, very soon. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.